I'd rather not fight any more bears, sir. People, I'll fucking use the rifle. It's my go to. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God, I saw the body of it right Don't before he... About me. Jesus fucking Don't Christ, Forrest, I have to start the way the fuck back here. Give me my shotgun. Oh my God. <laughs> fuck, this is irritating. I saw the body of it right before I fucking went down to skin the animal. And then I was like, oh shit, maybe nothing will happen. And it scared the ever-loving fuck out of me. God damn it. Come on. Marston, come on. Climb the fucking cliffs, I know you can. Gotcha. The power of the semi-auto. Like, look at it. It's just this fucking white blob. Is, is that what a grizzly looks like after you skin it? Like, I wouldn't know. God damn it. Alright, that's it. I'm not stopping to skin anything. Alright, not doing it. Stick with my semi auto. whole bunch of dangerous animals on this path. I know they're not just spawning randomly. No, you keep that fucking gun out. Big, oh, we got big ones up here. Hello, mountain lion. I assume that's what you were. Let's make this quick. Coo cougar, ooh. Oh, did I reach a checkpoint? Thank God. Yeah, I'm taking no fucking chances. I'm on high alert now. Now I just hear gunfire. Come on, John. Yeah, bird. Yeah, let the bird fly away. Bird doesn't fucking matter. However, a grizzly bear and a fucking cougar. Yeah. Bit different scenario.
Not the lasso, the throwing knives. Mr. Marston? Hola. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. There is no reason. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. <laughs> to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. <laughs> <laughs> Astas is a good boy and should be respected as such. Oh, is it too late to do anything tonight? Does no one want me to do their missions? Come back between 7 and 10. Rude. Is there a house I can buy over here? I don't know. There's just a house I can fucking go to. Well, nice. Guess that's the house I'm gonna go to. Not really a house, per se, but, you know. A place in which I can sleep. I can't seem to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? There's a poker table. Hey, uh, this establishment have a door? Go in the back door? One of my favorite moves? No? Hey, where's the fucking door? Where's the bakery? Whiskey? There we go. Oh, bitch. Damn, this is quite upscale compared to what I'm fucking used to living in. What's in the container? What do you got for me today? What's my daily gift? Some rifle ammo? Some shoddy ammo? Some fucking sniper ammo? Dope. Open. 
Well, let's just go to the first one I see, which just happens to be McDougie. Teach me how to McDougie. Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use it, but you won't do such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Well, alrighty then. Still not quite sure what your plan is, but okay. He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? Yo, McDougie. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. What's up, nasty ass? This is it! <laughs> Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastos has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastos, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Fuck you. 